It's coffee time. Ugh. We took Ro to the airport today. Ro's not here anymore. Forever! No, just uh, <laughs> just for a couple of days. She'll be back on Sunday, I believe. What day is it? It's Thursday. It's Thursday. We're good. Uh, Yeah, so she'll be gone for a few days. Mike and I were like, what are we going to do? Because, like, Ro, Ro is, like, this adorable bubble of, like, light and happiness that is in our house that just kind of, like, bounces around. It's like, yee! Isn't life great? And uh, both Mike and I, well, to give you an idea, right when we got home, we immediately locked ourselves in our bedrooms and have been on the computer all day. So that's, like, that's like our, our stasis, right? Whereas Ro, like, kind of flits around the house and does things and has conversations with us and yeah so she's she's like that that variable to our home that's now gone and we're like well we're gonna be pretty useless <laughs> we're barely gonna talk although we did get back uh before okay before we locked ourselves in our rooms uh we got back and Mike was like, I'm really hungry. I was like, I'm really hungry too. So we decided to go on kind of a friend or bender, which is like one of my favorite terms ever, but on Urban Dictionary means something totally different than what I think of <laughs> when I say friend or bender. Um, don't look it up. Actually, do look it up. You know what? Do look it up. Expand your mind a little bit because my mind was certainly expanded when I read it. I was like, oh, that is not what I mean by that at all. I actually got the term from a Metalocalypse episode. Mm -hmm. There is a metal apocalypse episode. Uh, metal There's a metal apocalypse episode where Nathan and Pickles, as like besties, decide that they're going to go around the world drinking <laughs> on a friender bender. And I thought the term was so funny. I was like, I need to use that more often. That needs to be a thing. So I've been using it to reference. Uh, times when I'm hanging out with a friend and we decide to do something gluttonous, right? Some, some sort of a bender. <laughs> so when Mike and I got back, we were like, oh man, food bender. We need to go on a food bender. So, uh, we went to one of the places that we like rarely ever go to. It's one of the places that's always closed. We were like, oh my gosh, I think it's open right now. We should totally go. So we did. We went, we got food. We got so much food. Actually, when we were done eating, Mike was like, I want to get another one. Should I get another one? And I was like, yes, you should. But he decided not to, which I was very disappointed about. Oh, man, actually. Oh, that reminds me. I got their chili. Okay, I got the chili. And it's a turkey chili. And I remembered it being really good. I like really chunky chili. And they brought it out to me. And it was really just like, there wasn't a whole lot going on in it. There wasn't a lot in it. There was like a kernel of corn sometimes. And like, they put... They put like a tiny pile of onions right in the center, but there weren't any onions actually in the chili. I was like, mm, this is not, the flavor is good. The texture is not what I'm into. So I brought, cause I got a big bowl of it. Cause I remembered it being so good. Uh, so I only ate a little bit of it, but the rest of it I brought home. I'm just going to add some other stuff into it. It'll be fine. I'm actually really excited about it. I'm like, I think that I could make this go for quite a while. Like, if I add in a bunch of extra food, that's going to be like three meals worth of chili <laughs> because it's like the base, right? It's like this much of a base for chili. And then I'm just going to add in more things and it's going to be like exploding, which I am totally okay with. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, we went on our friend or bender and then came back and now we're locked in our rooms. I've been catching up on anime because man, I haven't had time. I haven't had the time to catch up on these. So when I was able to, when I, when I got home and I sat down, actually it was because, uh, Aaron Lee and I were talking about, yeah, we were talking about our, uh, our anime expo costumes. And then I was like, Oh, I haven't caught up on Kuroko. So then I started watching Kuroko and then I went, Oh my goodness. What time is it? <laughs> Yay. So that was a thing. Um, oh, and I need to read that. Oh, dang it. I need to make, nah, I need to make lists for myself. But anywho, yeah, so that's what I've been doing with my last couple of hours is catching up on Kuroko episodes and playing with the cat, although the cat is all sleepy. He's like, mm, mm. I had a row with Rose printer. I needed to print something off 
And <laughs> went out there and I was like, I've used this before. It's no big deal. That thing was so angry with me. It was like, no. Everything I tried to do, it started beeping at me. Or it tried to suck up all of the paper at once. I was like, what are you doing? <sighs> Worst. Worst. This has never been an issue before. I feel like it's because Rose has gone. And so the printer was like, you're not my mom. I was like, just, just, just print. I just need just two pages. There are just two pages of things that I need. Could you, could you, could we reach a point of equilibrium together where you could just print these two pages off for me? My goodness. It finally worked, but it took way longer than it should have. Hello, Siren. It's past us now. <laughs> there have been a lot of sirens today. I wonder what's going down. Oh, man. Yeah, there was like a... You know how like ambulances and police cars and fire trucks all sound different? So there have been like different types of sirens going by and like big chunks and like honking horns. And I'm just like, as long as it's not our house, as long as we're not like on fire and I don't realize, I guess it's not a big deal, but what's going on? I don't know. So tonight I think I'm going to a birthday, I think. I don't know. Originally it was going to be Lamburger night. But I don't think that Lamburger Night is happening. I've canceled on Lamburger Night so many times. And, er like, every time they lose more and more faith in me actually going to it. Because <laughs> I'm that person who the second I get home, I'm like, oh, it's so comfy here at home. But tonight, I was like, all right, I am going. I'm going. And I've been so excited for it all day. Because I got to just, you know, like, chill. It's like, I got to chill all day. Now I'll go and get burgers. But oh, no. Then I got a message from my peeps, and they were like, uh, so there's actually a birthday going on if you want to go to that, but we're gonna skip out on hamburgers. And I was like, why? The one time! I'm never eating these hamburgers. It's just never, ever, ever going to happen. Ooh, somebody has responded to me a bunch in Ascension. I'll have lots of those games to play when I'm done. I wanted to see if uh, any of them had texted me because I texted them being like, hey, what time is all of this nonsense happening? And nobody responded. So, so we'll have to see what will happen far later. Oh, tummy. My goodness. It's not like you haven't eaten. We had chili. Don't you remember the friender bender? <laughs> Jeez. My stomach is so forgetful. It's such a short term memory disorder. Worst. I have drank a lot of coffee, though. If I drink, it doesn't matter how much I eat. If I drink a lot of coffee during the day, uh, my stomach will act like I haven't eaten. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm contributing more acid to the acid that's already there. So it's like eating away at stuff quicker. But if I drink a lot of coffee, regardless, my stomach will be like, food? Do you want to eat something? And I'm like, no, I'm good. Oh, God. What just fell off of you? I saw it. I saw it happen. <sighs> now I'm worried that, like, there's an alien in my house. Well, whatever. I accept you, alien. Wherever you are hiding right now, we could be best friends. I thought I saw, like, a big insect fall off of that, and now it's nowhere to be found. Well... I guess I'll find that later. Or maybe I won't. Maybe the cat will eat it. Now I'm imagining that scene from Prometheus, but with my cat. Feel free to fill that blank in however you want. <laughs> Got weird. Okay, anywho, I'm gonna go. Uh, but I hope that you guys had a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Mwah!